Shalom, shalom, Elder Boys here. Well, again, uh, uh, out on this beautiful morning. And, you know, just something else came to mind uh, when I was thinking about, uh, you know, the economy and what's been going on over the last 10 years uh, since the 08 uh, financial uh, meltdown that has uh, left many Americans in such a destitute state. It is not funny. It has given rise to the wealthiest state, uh, and it's called the Cloward and Piven strategy, where uh, uh, in order to collapse an economy, you have to flood the system with debt uh, from social services uh, and basically getting everybody on the government dole. And that does two things. It, number one, collapses the economy, but again... What it does is it makes people dependent on the system. And that's what I wanted to talk about because, you know, over the past five years, I've seen many people, uh, their economies have literally, literally collapsed. And it's a sad thing to see. It's a sad thing to see people uh, are struggling, the, 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 the children struggling. And, you know, I, I, I've been warning people since I've come to the knowledge of the truth to get out the city, to become more self-sufficient. And if anybody has been watching my videos, they've seen the natural progression of me living in the suburbs, working a corporate job, uh, leaving uh, and forsaken wife, home, children to live a set apart life out here in the Midwest to start in the family to building a little tribe, little village, little, little, little homestead, uh, growing my own food, hunting, learning a trade and starting a trade and, and opening up a business and being very uh, uh, prosperous in it all. And, you know, we're getting these reports that uh, all of these companies are laying off these people. And what do you do? What do you do to see someone sitting in a, in a, in a big room saying that, you know, Hey, we got to lay you off and um, your wife reaches over and gives you a napkin to wipe your tears. These people were dependent on the system, whether it's that just over broke system, their job system, uh, the welfare system. It's all coming down. It is literally all coming down. And I really do thank the father for putting uh, the spirit of truth in my heart and as well uh, uh, righteous men that are showing me the way in which I need to go so that my wives, my children are not subject to the same type of destitute situations that others are experiencing. I'll give you another example. I had a good dear friend uh, that I've known for many years. And because, see, this is why I tell you over and over again, you know, he, it is not anybody else's responsibility to provide for you and your family. It's you and your responsibility to provide for your family. Well, <laughs> a good man died <clears throat> a horrible death in excruciating pain. And he was under some false illusion that the church was going to take care of his wife and his children. Where did he get that from? Where did he get this lie from? No, the church is not taking care of his wife and his children. No, they're, they're, it, it's a sad, it's a sad deal. Uh, you know, and, and it's sad to see people going to their graves deceived. I mean, that's one of the things that you never want to do uh, is go to your grave deceived and thinking that, uh, your wife and your children is going to be taken care of just because you exist. No, no, it doesn't work that way. See, the uh, the, uh, the 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 scriptures say 
a wise man puts back for his children's children. See, uh, you know, it, it, y'all forbid if the most high take me out, but you know, uh, 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 my family's well taken care of. Land paid for, home paid for, no debt. You see, this this is what real men do. <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing to warn people. And then they don't heed the warning and then death comes up upon them because they believed in a lie. It's a sad deal. It really is a sad deal. See, no one is responsible for providing for you and your family. You have to make the necessary steps to ensure that you are providing for your children. Because it's a sad thing to see uh, uh, the man pass away. The wife is all left abandoned. The children are all left abandoned. And guess what? Everybody goes on as business as usual. Business as usual. See, in Israel, the widows are supposed to be taken care of. Yes, by those assemblies, by those churches. But you see, in these, 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 these churches today, you see these pastors getting richer and richer and richer. And the saints... Of these assemblies and these churches out here, I'm telling you, man, they're nothing but Christians. They're getting more poor and poor and poor. I just now saw a video of this Nigerian pastor, um, uh, 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 an immaculate home out there in Nigeria, and these people are starving. And it's sad. And people don't get it. People don't get it. <laughs> This is not the way the Most High uh, uh, ordained things to be. Far from it. It's a sad thing. But, you know, hey, if somebody, if a pimp is going to get in that pulpit and get rich uh, so he can buy nice fancy cars and uh, li 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 live a life, that's exactly what they're going to do. That's exactly what they're going to do. That's exactly what they do. You just watch them. Uh, the, the, the fancy homes, the fancy vacations. I mean, that's what they're going to do. And hey, hey, because and I don't blame them at the end of the day. I blame the people. I blame the people uh, while the widows go, go, go to suffer. While the widows suffer, while the widows str struggle. It's a sad thing. It really is a sad thing. And these people, when, they, when, when, when you're alive, they call, well, we love you and you're our brother and this, that, and the third. This is what, how they do in them churches. <laughs> But once they pass away, pfft, mm, mm, mm. So the, 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 the children are forsaken or forgotten. Learn how to grow your own food. Learn a real skill. Learn uh, how to get around uh, true brethren that uh, uh, will ensure that you're doing the right thing in life so that you don't have to suffer in death. See, you know, uh, this is why we stress at RTA. Uh, wills, uh, 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 insurance, uh, making sure things are in order so that, you know, uh, uh, you're not uh, uh, destitute. These are the kind of things that the elders teach at RTA. And this is what we do. This is what we do. So, again, uh, 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 make sure that uh, you're developing a tribal mindset and that you're, you're, you're developing a mindset so where, you know, uh, you're taking care of your children's children to ensure that they're not destitute because no one else is responsible for uh, coming to your rescue when you uh, 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 have failed to do your own due diligence and preparation to ensure that your, your family is taken care of in life or in death. There's slavery, and so, I know many of people that are already there. And many of you, you're on your way. Shalom.